One of the biggest complaints that I get from clients or models that I work with is that photographers that they work with take forever to get their images back. And this can be one of the most unprofessional ways to manage your clients. You want to get them the photos the, in the fastest way possible. This isn't always the easiest thing to do. And so I wanted to show you guys the easiest way that you can present and then deliver your images to clients using Lightroom. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up Lightroom and then you'll want to go to the images that you want to send over to your client and then select them and put them into a collection. And so I'm gonna click on one, I'm gonna shift click on the others, and then you can hit this plus sign here, and you're gonna click create collection. You can name the collection whatever you like. I'm gonna do just the date. I'm gonna create a collection. Um, now this is more photos than I would actually like, but I'm, I'm going to use this collection here that I've already pre-selected the images for. Make sure that this is checked here because you want to sync that collection with Lightroom. Make sure all the images are there and then we are going to, it should already be public, but if I right click on that collection, go to Lightroom links, you'll see you can view it on web with the private link. So I'm going to click view on web, on web. So that should open you up to the specific collection that you just created and there's no photos or anything here as of yet so you may have to refresh your page if the images don't show up yet but once the images do show up what you'll want to do is you can come down here you can click on oops not on display you can click on proofs right here and that's going to allow you to enable proofing i'm going to click on here and then turn proofing on so this will give you a link that you can send over to your client but before we do that i'm going to check the limit selection two box and i promised them 10 images so i'm going to limit the selection to 10 images then you can copy the link and then send that over to your client. I'm going to open an incognito tab here and I'm going to paste that link right here into the web page. And as you can see, there's a bunch, all those photos are here and you can see the, the, uh, the actual image files are here. Um, it won't let you click into them unless you sign in. So once I go in here and say your client gets this link, they go in to check one of these, it's going to have them sign in. So let them know they're going to need to sign in if they, if you have a client or a model who doesn't want to sign in, doesn't want to create an account, you want to make it seamless. You can create an email address and password to send over to them so they can just log into it. But keep in mind, two-factor authentication may make that kind of cumbersome. Okay. Now, once they're signed in, then they will be able to actually select images. So they'll be able to look at them full size and scroll through them and say, oh, I like this one. And what's great is it's going to let them keep count this one and then obviously they don't have to do it from the zoomed in view they can just click on the ones that they like all the way up to the number and obviously they don't have to go all the way up to the number but they can go all the way up to 10 and then they can obviously interchange those as well you can also leave comments right or something they can put those in there you'll be able to see those as well by the way if you guys want to see this photo shoot that i did i've got a video that showcases behind the scenes how we did the photo shoot just walks through it's a lot of fun um, i'll link that one down in the description for you guys to watch but once they've selected all of them just let them know hey once you've picked the photos send me a quick note because lightroom apparently doesn't have a way for you to actually see the images have them send you a quick note email text whatever once those are done, then what you will do is you'll go back into your Lightroom. And again, this can't be Lightroom or, or Lightroom Classic. This has to be Lightroom from web. So you'll have to go um, view on web from Lightroom Classic in order to get here. And you'll be able to see all the photos that were selected. You can see all 10 photos here, which is great. You can see the comments that were left, which is denoted by this little message icon here. And what I do, because it won't show you in, light, in your Lightroom catalog, which is kind of annoying. I don't know how new this is, but I, I wish that they would actually show like the comments right in Lightroom Classic, but it doesn't. But what I do here is I check on the first one, hold shift, click on that to select all of them. And then I add it to a new, uh, a new, a new collection. So I'm going to do same naming convention, two, three, 24, um finals because that's what they're going to end up being and so those will move over to this collection so when you come back into lightroom um, you may have to check your from lightroom cc folder as that's where those images came from and you'll see here are the Erica rose finals here and then you'll see all the images and then you can start editing them right away once you're done editing the images and you're ready to send them over to the client you've got those edits done it's really simple to send them over all you really have to do is go to that same Lightroom link that should, or it should already be synced with uh, Lightroom because it came to Lightroom Classic 
from Lightroom CC. I'm gonna right click there and then you'll see Lightroom links here and you can copy the public link. But before I do that, I'm gonna do both actually. I'm gonna to go to view on web. Remember it's the public link that we wanna to go to view on web. You'll see all the images. This is how your client will see them once they have this link. I'm gonna click up here, click share settings. And then I'm gonna add them to share, copy the link. You can do invite only or anyone can view and do their email address here. That'll be the fastest way. That way you don't have to send anything over. Just send it here, click invite, or you can copy the link and just text it over to them, email it over to them, however you want to do that. I will say though, one of the drawbacks about doing this is that you can't use watermarks on your images. And so if that's important, then you'll obviously have to find a different way. If you want to speed up your workflow and you're not really worried about the watermarking side of the house, then this is one of the best ways to be able to do proofing. Um, just because it saves you so much time. But if you guys thought this was helpful, let me know. Like I said, I've got that video linked down in the description and I will see you all in the next video.